we're now going to try importing that same move into a bolt-on track. Bear in mind the reason we're doing this is so that you can tell if a move that a client has given you is capable of being run on your machine. You may have facilities already for pre-visualization of that move in some other program, but I am assuming here that you are only a Flare user and you have clients coming to you and saying, can we run this move? We have here a bolt-on track system set up. Here, let's have a look at our rig model. There we are. Bolt-on track, top mounted camera. We have a lens loaded. We have a focus axis. We have other axes turned off. We're in roll moves at the moment and job type wise we are in priority to axis positions. We're going to import this move. First of all I need to find it. There's, there's my move. It's a three node FBX file I'm going to import. There's my move there. Now, at first I'm not going to do anything with these because I can do things with those once I understand what is needed for any particular move. So if I import this, again it requests me to select which camera, a three node or a one node. I'm going to import that. There we are. There's a move. Now you'll notice here my track is master because that was the setting that I had when I first did the import. If I look now at that move on my rig model, I can see the move itself. This is the blue line, which is the camera nodal point position. This the red line is the target we are looking at and you can see this is relatively close because the target distance has been specified as part of the th three nodes that we have imported and we also have here a roll up green line that defines what the camera is doing. Because we have imported a 3D file my roll has defaulted to roll up and my job type has defaulted to priority to Cartesians because that's what I am importing. This choice of using track as a master may not be the optimum way to handle the move. I may have to make that decision once I've looked at the move and tried to run it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that move and I'm going to use a granularity figure so I have less waypoints. I use a granularity of 10 that will divide my move into 15 waypoints instead of 150. I'm also going to rotate my move about my zero by 90 degrees because I saw when I was importing that first time that it was off to one side and away from the position of the rig. Let's import that, see what we get. Again, three node camera. There we are. There's my 16 points as I originally specified and if I look at my rig model now I have a move which 
has far fewer points but is actually located on the rail itself. Now, if I try to run that initially, obviously, because my track is a master at the moment, I try to run that and it merely does things in space attempting to reach. So, this is certainly not the optimum way to run it. The possibility exists, therefore, that I should be firstly thinking about moving my move back along the track in X minus and also moving it so that I can at least look at it sideways somewhat rather than looking straight back along the rig. The other thing to look at is po the possibility of going to arm master so that the track is actually part of the move. I'm going to make those changes. First of all, let's go to my kinematics file and change my track master to track to master outer. I'm going to clear this job. Yes, I want to clear the job. And I'm going to move my arm out to a position of plus 30 because I think that will give me more reach on my arm, which will now be a master axis. If I go to that position with my rig, I can now look at my rig model and say my arm is out here so I will be able to better reach and do things and my track is going to be moving with the rig with the move so now I'm going to go and import as I say I'm going to move my track back there we are minus two meters I'm also going to move in Y in order to bring my move uh, this side of the rail so I have the possibility of actually doing the move. Let's put 0 0.8 there and do my import again. Now looking at my move, I can see that my blue line is at least within reach of my rig. And as my track is a mass, is the target tracking move axis now, I can actually do the move comparatively well. There's just one slight problem at the beginning of the move, just there, where my tilt tilts up through the arm, which is not okay. I may actually be able to handle that by moving the whole move downwards. Let's move the whole move downwards with our import. Let's go adjust in Z minus 0 0.7 move it down 70 centimeters import again refresh the view let's have a look at that That's doable. Let's run that back just to make sure I can actually reach that point. Ooh, 
that still looks to me as if I may be hitting with my camera. And I actually have the pink there showing me that I am actually hitting with the camera. To solve that problem, I need to move my arm up somewhat. And so what I can do is I can take my initial move that I am importing here. This is my move. And I can move that to something like zero. And that will give the arm ma master axis a move to follow. I now view that in my rig model. There's my start position. And as you can see, I don't have any pink there showing me that I have actually reached the move, the position correctly. Let's run the move. So that move is capable of being run. Now, my playback speed on my rig model is 25 frames a second. Whether my move is actually capable of running that speed when we are doing the move is an entirely different question. Let's go robot fast, forward run. And it says my track is too fast there and accelerating too fast there by six times. So it wants to make the whole move 922 frames long. I don't want to do that. So what I'm actually going to do is look at my graphics and look at the velocities involved and the accelerations and see that the problem here is much too much acceleration there. So if I were to slow this part of the move down, I would be more likely to do it in the number of frames that's useful to the client. Bearing in mind the client may have given us this and said, can you run this? And you will now be able to tell him, yes, we can run it, but not at 25 frames a second for 150 frames. Let's now, just as an experiment, stretch part of our move. Let's go from waypoint 13 to waypoint 16 and make that not 150 frames, but 180 frames. That would just lengthen those last four points. Stretch, exit. So now the rest of the move hasn't been changed, but that last part has been. Let's see if I can run that. Still too fast for the track at with the accelerations there and the velocities there.